Well, the past few days, about six trillion people sent me a link to some sort of article talking about how much money PewDiePie made in 2014. Seven million dollars! And people be upset about this news. Oh my god. It is unreal. He makes that much money for just talking into a microphone while playing a stupid little video game. There's this guy, this guy, this guy work ten times as hard, make ten times less. This guy is way better at talking over video games than he is, and so is this guy, and so is that guy. PewDiePie has a rabid fan base that just defends him no matter what, and they tell other people to die when they speak out against him, and blah, blah, blah. I don't know what cave people have been living in. I don't know how long people have had their eyes shut and their fingers in their ears, but this is just the way the world works. Yes, there are many professions out there. He is, PewDiePie isn't exactly ditch digging. He isn't exactly pulling a person out of a burning building or anything like that. What he does is relatively simplistic from the actual effort of things, but he commands an audience. He commands an audience that comes back in the millions. I don't like his content, hence I don't watch his content. I've criticized him in the past about lying about money, but I'm never going to begrudge the man for earning money. What he's got, he's earned. However you consider this system bullshit here on YouTube, he has earned every penny he's made on this website. And if you're upset with him, then you just really need to ask yourself, are you just too envious? Because I'll tell you right now, I'm envious of any man or woman that has earned their way in life and become financially just secure. Like, not have to worry. He's in a state of being right now financially that he doesn't have to worry about uh, finances the rest of his life um, unless he starts having, you know, Floyd Mayweather spending tactics implemented in his life. Other than that, uh, PewDiePie is going to be living a rather lavish, wealthy, and secure life from the means of finances till the day he dies. And he can live to a triple digit age and he'll still be fine. I'm envious of that. And you got to wonder if you're really angry over the fact that you see that this guy reported, reportedly made $7 million last year. You got to wonder if that J word is a little bit into the equation there. A little bit. I'm not going to throw that word out there because I hate that word. But anyway. But some people, frankly, you are the J word. Anyway. Um, excuse me while my neighbor mows the lawn while I make this video. I just... I, I, I feel like I gotta just like talk common sense to people here because, you know, what PewDiePie is doing here and how people see it as, you know, a relatively effortless product and there's plenty of other people here on this website that do ten times the work and get ten times less, you know, what can I tell you? There's an executive on top of some company right now that works a tenth of the time that his employees under him works. There's someone like Shia LaBeouf in Hollywood. I remember I saw an article, it was sometime last summer, where it compared the salaries of actors, or the, excuse me, the box office uh, sales for actors, and Shia LaBeouf was the number one actor all time, and great I know inflation stuff skews uh, previous actors, Shia LaBeouf is the number one actor all time per capita for amount of money that a movie makes that he is in. Shia LaBeouf. When you want a movie to succeed, put Shia LaBeouf in it because it will, uh, through studies and through, through repetition here, will make money. Shia LaBeouf can't act his way out of a paper bag. <laughs> but you know what? There's no denying that the movies that he's in make money. For whatever reason, there's an audience that's drawn to him. I guess there is, as they say, no accounting for taste in this world. You know what? I don't like PewDiePie. I will never like his videos. Well, actually, that that's kind of, you know... You shouldn't really say something like that, because it's like, oh, you know what every single video he's going to make in the future is going to be? Like, and that always bothers me. People say, like, oh, I will never like a thing that guy does, or this guy does. You, you can't predict the future with certainty. But anyway... I mean, I have nothing good to say about the guy before this, but you know what? 
I'm not going to be begrudge a guy for, for earning his way here. He's worked the system. He's done whatever he had to do. I, I don't care how unethical you think it is, but you know what? You all have the ability to do the same thing. I have the ability to do the same thing. If I'm going to hate him for the amount of money he has made, do I have problems with what he's done with some of the money or that he's lied about some of the money? I have problems with all that, but you know what? Whatever, he's hustled his way to the top. And you or I only wish we could be there. Now, you know, wouldn't want to necessarily be in his spot for giving up sake of privacy and stuff like that. I value something like that a lot more. But anyway, I just, I don't, in a way I understand the anger because a lot of it comes out of envy, like I said, and that J word. But what did you expect? Like, are you really that stunned to find out he's a multi-millionaire? Like, hello, this really should have been common sense up to this point. Anyway, PewDiePie has done his thing, and he's going to do his things many years on end. So when you see a same story come out this time next year, you should not be surprised at all. You shouldn't be angry at all. You should expect it. Anyways, just a dose of common sense here for you guys today. Have a good day, everyone.